in our society space is underestimated a lot. I'm interested in uh, different scales of, of relations, no? small groups, individuals, when you are alone in your space, when you are with the others, it's with just a small group of people, when you are in the mass. What type of new biopolitical space are we constructing as architects and urbanists? The question of life is more and more present in our discourses, in our existence. We are more and more speaking of quality of life. Today there is a biopolitical project ongoing, which is showing its limits. The limits uh, of uh, growing divarication between rich and poor, the, the limits of not understanding the, the ecological crisis, the limits of uh, imagining an economy that is mainly a financial economy and not a material economy. Our installation is an archive, a laboratory, and is an atelier. Its title is the Biopolitical Garden. All gardens are very heterogeneous, you know, they contain a variety of things. So we want to bring this question about how design can be part of this biopolitical project. Space contains a possibility of emancipation, and this is where I think design can make a difference. In this moment, it's important to re-evaluate the role of utopia, not as a way to make fantasies, but as a critical way to investigate reality. We have been uh, making a long research on the idea of horizontal metropolis. So how can we, with design, work more on horizontality instead of on hierarchical relations? How can we make space for everybody instead of making space for only someone? Porosity has to do with flows of people, of materials. You can imagine flows of water through the rocks, or you can imagine flows of uh, people through space. With uh, conflicts, with tension, with the contrast when you are too close to each other. If you want to work with the design towards a porous city, you can work uh, on the continuity, on uh, ecological continuity, but also physical space for, for people. You can work on mobility. You can work also on the capacity of buildings to be transformed. Space contributes eh, very much to uh, our feeling of being free or not being free. We have to reconstruct our idea of freedom today, not our idea of being independent and of being submitted. <laughs>